in power bi we will be using lot of steps so that we have to prepare one interactive and interesting report or dashboard so for this report or dashboard we will be working on data visualizations we will be working on data transformations also be working on data modeling we will be working on dax functions and what not my dear viewers if i would like to tell to you one point that when we are having more than one table when we are having more than one table it means that two tables or three tables we have it in our power bi which we might have extracted from multiple data sources we should make sure that there should be some relation between these tables there should be some connectivity between these two tables there should be some relation between more than one table so if we do not have a proper relationship then there are the possibilities that we might get the wrong result or we might not get a result at all now let me give you a simple scenario the scenario is that let us consider that you have two tables but there is no relationship if you try to do a relationship we are getting many to many relationship okay so is it possible that we will be getting the right result or the right inputs that we are can show it to the uh, client or end customer so if not then what is the probable approach that we have to take so when i am talking about the approach we have something called as a unique identifier or i can call it as a surrogate key in power bi hi i am m asif hussain from nohav academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn what is a surrogate key in power bi and how to create it we are even going to learn how to create the relationships between tables in power bi so by the end of this video you could able to get an idea how to use a power query editor in order to create a surrogate key and how we have to create a relationship with the help of this surrogate key in power bi so watch till the end my dear viewers here if you see that there are two tables that i have one i have is a product table and another one i have is a sales table when i am talking to you about the product table we can see that we have something called as uq id ain id the category the product name and the sales so let's understand the data first very carefully if we carefully observe the ain id 1 2 3 4 5 for the first five ain ids the uq id is 1 and the next five ain ids the uq id is 2 and the next five ain ids the uq id is 3 and the last five ain ids the uq id is 4 now let's compare it with the category and product name that we have so we have category here so first ein id is technology and the product name is different the second ein id the category is technology itself but the product name is different okay so if we same observe it in the sales table as well the first ein id belongs to the customer seen miller and the second ein id comes with the tamrachand now there are different customers there are different technologies there are different product names for the different ein ids but for all of them the uq id is same what's happening here for all of them the uq id is same so the difficult task here is that when we are having this kind of data it is very difficult for us in order to fetch this or create a relationship and go and show the values in a output or in the form of a visual in a report or dashboard if, if i just show you the data model tab here data modeling here we can see that the sales table and the product table okay so now if i try to create a, because ai id ai id is same so if i try to show or create a relationship we can see that many to many relationship is created okay so the problem with the many to many relationship is that it will show the duplicate values in the output the relationship will be created i am not telling no but with many to many relationship we might encounter multiple duplicate values in the output which can cause a very big trouble for us again that's a separate task for a developer to go and clean the data by removing the duplicates okay so that is a difficult task 
that is a difficult task so in order to overcome all these what we are going to do is that we are going to create a key called as surrogate key in power bi it is not so difficult as well so for that let me come back to my power query editor so where we call it as a inbuilt data transformation feature that we have it in power bi so under this product table if you see that we have the same columns as we have just glanced at the data that we have it now under the add column section we have something called as index column if i try to start creating the index column from zero what will happen it will start from zero but the end we will get 19 itself okay nothing should start from zero if you're trying to uh, uh, let us consider this as a serial number so why we are creating this index which is called as a surrogate key as well why are we creating it the reason for creating this one is that if you carefully observe every single value in this surrogate key every single value in this index column every single value is unique it's different nothing is repeated so every single row that we have it here it is mapped with the unique numbers of the surrogate key to the ein id and the unique id or uq id as well so in order to create this uniquality okay so that's where we go and create it so now the we cannot start with zero that's why what i'm doing is that i'm removing this one so now what I'm doing, I'm creating one more by starting it from one and I'm renaming it to surrogate key. Okay, I'm renaming it to surrogate key. So now this is my surrogate key column. Okay, so using this surrogate key, what I'm doing, I'm just trying to make sure that every single value in the surrogate key is unique. Now, based upon these unique numbers, I can go and try to filter out whatever the information I would like to get it from the output from the report okay as part of the requirements that i have so this we have to understand now i have created a surrogate key is that enough no so there is one more step to do so now what i'm trying to do is that i'm trying to merge the queries what i'm trying to do i am trying to merge the queries so i have the product table now i am choosing the sales table here okay so we have a surrogate key that's fine we even have the sales so let's and consider that Okay, sales something which is common. Now we can see that 20 out of 20 rows are completely matching. There is no error. So now what I can do, I can go and click on okay. So as soon as I click on okay, so under the one product table, we have got rest of the information. So if I would like to expand it, if I would like to expand it, I'll just expand it here and I'll make sure that whichever the columns which I do not have it in the product table that I'm going to just fetch it out from this. So I have sales, so I want quantity, sorry. Uh, I want quantity, discount, profit, so category is also available, okay, so I want segment, I want customer names and the customer ID, okay, so these things I wanted, let me click on, okay, so as soon as I click on, okay, we can see that we have got rest of the information which is not available in the product table, so now what's happening my dear viewers, I have done all those uh, transformation part, I have added a surrogate key, now what I'm going to do, I'm cl clicking close and apply, when I click on close and apply, so all the changes that we have done in that particular data transformation in Power Query Editor that will be applicable here. Now coming back to the data modeling view, you can see that it is one to one relationship is created. Okay, so, so if you do not want to create this relationship, if you want to go with uh, some other relationship, you can even go and do it. For example, if you do not uh, or if you are having a confusion that what kind of relationship is possible for me in order to uh, uh, create it one to one or one to many or whatever it is so just do one thing so just i'm removing this particular relationship we can go and click on manage relationship here when i click on manage relationship you can choose an option called auto detect right so when i click on this auto detect it will give whatever the relationships are available as you can see that we can see one new relationship which is created let me click on close okay the it sales to the sales from the product to the sales table so we can see that as soon as i clicked on okay so the relationship is created okay so if i did not do merge it will become one to many relationship so now it is easy for me in order to go and create a model or create a view or, or use a visual or create any sort of visual whichever my client has requested for so the important part that we have learned here in this particular video is that 
okay the surrogate key plays a very key role and very important role in order to uh, you know segregate or in order to make sure that every single row in the key is unique which will be linked up or which will be helpful for us in order to compare with the EIN ID or UQ ID in my case in your case it might be different depending upon the scenarios that we are working in but in my case this surrogate key I am relating it with my EIN ID and making sure that every EIN ID is now is related to unique number but not one two three four five again one two three four five no i have completed one two three four five here but again the next number is starting from six seven eight nine ten so now what i'm doing is that this six seven eight nine ten i will be comparing it with my next five numbers so that's where uh, this will be helpful for us okay so using this surrogate key i can go and create a bar chart a line chart or whatever it is uh, depending upon the requirements that i have i can go and prepare the visuals as well so my dear viewers in this video we have learned how to create a surrogate key in power bi and how to create a relationship between two tables in power bi thank you for choosing nohav academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning